please welcome three-time Mayor of Beverly Hills and current City Council member, John Mish. Professor Henry Lewis Gates Jr. has said one of the streams under the floorboards of Western culture is anti-Semitism. When people need it, they just dig it up. We don't want to repeat it, and we do over and over again. Anti-Semitism is just a pseudo-scientific way to describe Jew hatred, an age-old form of racism. This is a council you member from the Zeta of racism. Jew hatred is a pathological disease, yep. a virus which continually mutates, which has continually mutated over thousands of years. Yes. Jew hatred is a virus for which there is no Pfizer, Moderna, or even Johnson & Johnson inoculation. In Redemption in, in Christ. Now just coming out that sets you free. One of the worst global pandemics in history. Another virus grows among us, ever mutating, ever raging, spreading virally on social media. Jew hatred is alive and well in 2021 in Southern California, in America, and across the world. One of the most virulent and insidious mutations of this virus is the raging and irrational hate towards Jews using Israel as a pretext. Social media has become like a petri dish for the ever new strains of the virus of Jew hatred. Sadly, in 2021, a Venn diagram of Jew hatred and Israel hatred would be more a matter of concentric circles than a figure eight or an infinity sign. Beverly Hills, my city, is one of the only Jewish majority cities outside of Israel. Who would have ever thought that in 2021, Jews would be violently attacked simply for being Jewish so close to the borders of our beloved hometown? Oh my God. We in Beverly Hills remain committed to the safety of all our residents and visitors, but if anything, the recent outbreak of anti-Semitism and anti-Jewish violence shows us just why we need a Jewish state. It makes me profoundly sad, but at the same time, grateful for a Jewish country and our ancestral homeland where we are the indigenous people, a people whose history is defined by never forgetting who we are and where we come from. Others may attempt to gaslight us and the world as people have done for millennia. Tragically, some of these people may be our friends, neighbors, and even family. Others may speak up and fight against all other forms of racism, but stay silent when the oldest, most atavistic, and most elemental form of racism, the hatred of Jews, takes place before their very eyes, in their own backyards, and in their own front yards. Do not be surprised. Yes, we need to continue trying to vaccinate people against the virus of Jew hatred. We must not give up trying to cure it. But ultimately, we need to protect ourselves against its effects, both the intended effects and the side effects. And yet, though it may feel that way, we are not alone. We have each other. Look around yourselves with gratitude and with chesed. These people are Grace. your family. And we have Israel, our imperfect but beautiful spiritual and ancestral home, where we come from, where we are the indigenous people, and where we can, Baruch Hashem, go back whenever we want to, Whenever we need to, the only place it seems, even with Hamas missiles raining down upon it, where we can live as Jews without fear. Because today we can't even live as Jews without fear in the United States of America in 2021. We can't even live as Jews without fear in Beverly Hills, California. How sad is that? Well, we remain committed to fixing that. Let's not have any illusions about the world around us. Pastor Martin Niemöller once wrote a famous poem about he and the others did not speak out when the Nazis came for different groups, including the Jews, and that by the time they came for him, there was no one left to speak out. I'd like to leave you with an updated version of Niemöller's poem from a Jewish perspective. First they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out, because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out, because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. And the Jews realized that because you did not speak out, they had to speak up for themselves. Because you did not act, they had to act for themselves. Because you did not defend them, they had to defend themselves. Because you did not stand with them, they had to stand alone together. Because they were Jews. Because they are Jews. Because we are Jews. I'm Yisrael Chaim.